Today I'm going to be doing a review of the AGM ASP Micro TM160. This is a, a pretty good entry level um, thermal imager, thermal monocular. Uh, it ran me about 400 bucks. Um, it does have digital zoom up to 4x, can take stills, and can also record. Um, it can also stream directly to a phone and uh, I think it's a pretty good way to get into thermal imaging. So what do you exactly see through a thermal imager? Let's take a look and find out. You can see here, I'm holding my hand in front of the thermal imager and placing my hand on the surface of my bed. And you can see the thermal print that's left behind by my hand even just my index finger on the comforter. When I turn over to my desk, you can see that certain parts of my electronics, parts that have the most power going through them, show up as a bright yellow. Everything else that's colder is purple until it turns blue, which is the coldest parts of the room. Here you can see me holding the thermal imager, and that's actually a piece of glass, but because glass is highly emissive, you can see the reflection thermally. With the AGM mounted on a tripod, I also decided to go ahead and take a recording of myself doing certain things in front of it. Here I got in front of the thermal imager. Notice how my eyes, the corners of my mouth, and the corners of my nose seem to be significantly hotter than some of the extremities, like the sides of my nose and my ears. You can also see on my shirt, parts that are pressed against my skin are hotter than the parts that are loose. All in all, I'd have to say that for 400 bucks, this is a great way to get into thermal imaging. It's definitely a much more cost-effective option than a lot of the other thermal imagers that are out there. Um, of course, it does have its limitations. It is a handheld monocular, so it can't be mounted as a scope. The zoom that it does have is 4x, 4x digital zoom. Um, so obviously, with the digital zoom, you're going to... Uh, suffer from a loss in picture quality. Um, also, the picture quality itself is a bit grainy, uh, but for the purposes that you'd be using it for, for thermal imaging, uh, it works great. Um, I'd say all in all, it's pretty decent. So this has been my review of the AGM TM160 thermal monocular. If you like what you saw, then please like and subscribe and I'll get around to posting more videos with the same subject material. Thanks.